While communities all around our area and all over the nation continue their support following the wildfires in the Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge areas, as we all know, 14 people were killed and over 2,000 homes and businesses were either damaged or destroyed. This weekend, more than a dozen country music artists will perform in those communities. It is an all an effort to raise money for people who have lost their homes. One of the performers is Caitlin Baker from right here in our own backyard. And we are thrilled to have her here with us in our studio this morning to tell us about this upcoming weekend. And Caitlin, it's always good to have you on the show. Well, thank you for having me. It's so good to see you. I was saying you've been very busy, of course, on tour, visiting a lot of places, some of them you've never been to before, right. and enjoying it. Yeah, it's been really fun when I get a chance to shop. You know I'm shopping somewhere. She's a shopper. <laughs> She's a shopper and a singer. I like that. It's lots of good stuff. Well, Heart of Appalachia, of course, was one of your big hits that came out and talking about tourism and of course right. tourism in Southwest Virginia, mm -hmm. which is where you're from, but also really lends perfectly to what you're doing this weekend. For sure, we're very excited about it and we're just you know, happy to help the community out. Tell me a little bit about your song, Heart of Appalachia, and how that sort of originated. Yeah, so Heart of Appalachia is the official theme song for Southwest Virginia. And, of course, you know, being from there, I was over the moon that they even decided to pick my song to be the uh, theme song. And um, we filmed in several different places around Southwest Virginia, and it was just a blast. I mean, we had a lot of fun with it, and, of course, I felt right at home because... I was in my own backyard. <laughs> yeah. And now coming up this weekend, you've been, you're going to be performing. Of course, Saturday is the big day for mm -hmm. a lot of the other country music right. stars, and then Sunday it will continue. Why did you decide that this was something that you wanted to do? Well, I grew up um, going to Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge like all the time. It was one of our favorite places that, um, as kids, and even now I go there all the time and I perform there a lot. I have a lot of family and a lot of friends there, so I felt so strongly about helping out any way that you know I possibly could and if that meant you know just going and volunteering somehow helping people you know bringing food or whatever the situation you know was I just wanted to help out and it just happens to be that singing is the way that I would be able to to do that for people. Well and that's going to be a wonderful day of course Saturday the Zac Brown Band other country stars are going to be there uh, a lot of others are doing concerts on Sunday yeah. Tell me a little bit about your particular performance. Well, the Pepper Palace, um, I've known them for a couple years now. We've worked together, so they're just a great company, great people. And um, they contacted me and asked if I would like to be a part of um, this event that they're having. And it's going to be at the Hard Rock Cafe, which is going to be a lot of fun. And I heard that Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus is going to be there. Really? And a lot of fun activities for the kids, so it's going to be really cool. Good. And um, we have another band there, uh, Stephen Goff and the Royals, so that's going to be really cool. They're really great. Very nice. And understand you're taking donations that day. Right. We will be taking donations. Um, and then all of the info is on Gatlinburg.com where you can find out more stuff there. Wonderful. Well, let's talk a little bit about your new song because this is very exciting. Just released called Two Pieces. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about the meaning behind this song, first of all. Well, it's a heartbreak song. <laughs> so anytime that, um, you know, I, I listen to the song, it actually, it takes me back to that moment. and. I actually get teary-eyed when I when I listen to it, only because, you know, I feel like music has a way of kind of giving us that outlet to where, if we're sad, we can we can really just like vent and just be able to listen to music and be able to kind of relate to it in a way and maybe understand that moment in our life. But then also, if something's happy, you know, music takes you back to that place, and you know, that's that's just the beauty of it. And a lot of people certainly can connect with this as kind of that first heartbreak. Yeah. And, and a lot of people reaching out to you, remembering their particular story as they're listening right. to the music. I think so. I think it's a really good song for people, especially kind of really all ages, but I think for my age when people are kind of just starting to date and, you know, they have that first heartbreak, it's, you know, it's the worst. It's awful, <laughs> isn't it? It is. And I don't know why we date. over it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Takes us all back in time. Well, of course, you're going to be busy this weekend, and I know you're hitting the road again, and, and how does it feel to be home here with your, your family back oh, in it's, Southwest Virginia It's amazing, holidays. let me tell you. I'm, I'm living it up because I get to be at home with my dogs right now, and it's amazing. 
Well, and we're so fortunate to have you on the show, and, and it's amazing to watch you grow and all the great things you're doing. So a big congratulations Thank you to so you. much. I yeah. appreciate it. Come see us again. I would love to. When you have time. When you're not <laughs> shopping and singing. Well, we'll give everybody the information. Of course, the Mountain Tough benefit, the Zach Brown, everything is coming up on Saturday, beginning at 10 a.m., all taking place in Gatlinburg. And you can see Caitlin Baker in concert coming up. That is Sunday at the Hard Rock Cafe right there in Pigeon Forge. For more information, you can visit Gatlinburg.com.